without the broad-based community support. We appreciate that support. Uh, from the very word, uh, from the very start, you've been supportive. And, uh, and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, one of the things I, I think quite put in, in the, the people that were lobbying for waste control and all our people worked hard to get this in. And that was that the Andrews County would get 5% of the gross. Not 5% of the net, but 5% of the gross, regardless of whether we make any profit or not. 5% of the top on disposal of low-level waste, radioactive waste, will go to Andrews County, the county government. There's no other place in the county, and no other place in the state you have that kind of situation. Sure, there's sales tax, people pay sales tax, but we do that too. But this is, this is a gross proceeds that come into the company, 5% will go to the state and 5% will go to Andrews. Uh, there were those in the state government wanted to 10% to go to the state and none to Andrews. And we worked on that and uh, the late representative, uh, uh, late uh, Buddy West and uh, Senator uh, Seller, uh, uh, Kel Seller uh, worked on that and we were able to get that done. What that means on our projections at the county if we get this built this year, the county by 2011, two years from now, uh, they should make somewhere around 13 to 15 million dollars. The amount of money raised from county property taxes now is 13 million dollars. So it will allow you to have other projects, or it will allow you to cut taxes, whatever, whichever one the county commissioners want. So the, the very thing that we passed. In 2003, probably didn't get a lot of publicity, I think probably the leadership did, but it was something that was great for Andrews County and that it's very positive, and I hope you can keep that in mind. Uh, we have a, a situation here that uh, as we uh, uh, finish our construction, uh, that we hope that uh, the construction will be over by the end of this year and that we will be able to start taking uh, our waste at that time. And if you look at the uh, uh, the license we have, somebody's going to say, what if the company goes broke? The company, you know, the, the, the stock of the company would be pledged for the bond. And if something happens, the county would then owe the stock. That the license we have is the only license of that type in the nation. If we had a, if we know I think we're going to have a sale today and sell that license for $75 million, I'm telling you, it would be a long line, and we wouldn't do that. You know, because we've invested over $225 million uh, here in this county. And so we've made a commitment to this county, we'll stay with that commitment. But uh, because of a lot of unusual uh, circumstances economically uh, across the country, we're asking Andrews to help us during this time. I don't see any risk for it. And I'll just tell you, that, you know, there's always risk. There's a risk of a meteorite might come through the building and hit me tonight. If that happens, so be sure to say something good about that. My but there is always risk. But the risk is that if something happened, that the stock would be owned by the county. Uh, we want to pay this off as soon as possible. And I think that, uh, that the way things would, would uh, go with the economy, We'd like to see it paid off in four or five years. Uh, Bill Lindquist, our CEO, has worked hard on this. And I'm going to call on him to say a few words. And, but we didn't want to have too long uh, of a program. We don't want to bore you. But we're going to be here campaigning a lot between now and May the 9th. I think that if people have the full information, uh, that they will vote for this. A vote for this will be a vote for the future of Andrews. If, if this project, brought about the LES project in, uh, that's uh, outside of Union. That would not have happened had Andrews not been out on the front line, and we'd been out on the front line when we passed uh, the legislation in 2003, and yet when we started in 1996. We've been a good community partner. Uh, we've uh, given the school district a large amount uh, each and every year. We've also given uh, 10 scholarships uh, to students here every year. And we've been active in United Way and other uh, civic projects. We'll continue to do that. We have a lot of citizens at work uh, at our project that live right here in Andrews. And so we will be continuing to support this community.
this is the time that we're just asking you to support us, and I do not see any risk in it. Because if you have a situation that the stock of the company will be pledged for the bonds. And uh, we think that, you know, the real issue, you, you've got valuations going down on oil. So, I mean, it, it faces, the county government faces a, a tighter budget than they've had when oil was $140 a barrel. Well, once we get open and you start getting revenue coming in, that's going to be a big positive for this county because there'll be revenue coming in from the 5% that we have to pay on the gross. This time I'm going to turn it over to uh, Bill Linguist and 